Welcome back to Afternoon Express, where we are, we are back. I want to say I am back, <laughs> but we're more of a family here today. I'm talking about none other than Chef Chad and Chef Dumi. Now, you both, I would like to almost call you fast food connoisseurs. Mm. Mm, mm. Let, let's put go it with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you literally take cool. things that seem so difficult but oh so tasty. You make them fast, you make them convenient, but oh so filling and satisfying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's what this next recipe is all about. Correct. I'm excited about Correct. it. Actually. Well, let's get into it. Chef Chad has okay. been taking the Cape Town Street food scene by storm. And since we're celebrating all things burgers, he's here to share with us an all-time fan favorite the beetroot burger. Mm -hmm. This recipe is a crowd pleaser and combines the guilt-free beetroot patty with the same decadence of a regular burger. Providing that you definitely have your cake and you can eat it too. <laughs> yeah, so Chef, I've actually enjoyed one of these beetroot burgers, was, yeah. but it was actually a bao yeah. burger, and that's one of your specialities. Correct. Now, talk to me before we get to what a bao burger is. Okay. Let's first break down the actual beetroot patty. Yeah. Okay. So, so basically, you can either you can either cook them from scratch. Obviously, if you're out of time, you can buy them with a store bought. Whatever doesn't matter. Your preference. Okay. Same thing. So, so basically, you just if you're gonna if you're gonna buy it and you're gonna cook it, you cook it until soft, grate them, so it's already cooked. Store bought, it's already cooked, and then after that, you just add your ingredients. Mm. So what I normally go with first is I go with my with my with my feta. I'm I'm not shy, as you can <laughs> see. I have no thin chef. Never trust a thin chef, by the way. So I go in with all. As much salt and as much cheesiness as you can. Then you've got some rosemary, you've got some mint. Um, throw that in there. That's absolutely amazing. The rosemary is like a hence, hence Palisa saying from the beet to the meat. So the rosemary <laughs> gives you kind of a meaty yeah. kind of a, a buzz. Then I go in with the coriander. Um, then I put a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. And just quickly, Chef, this, this, and this. Okay, obviously, these are eggs, bread yeah. crumbs, and just regular you just seasoning. Re you can either do your, you can either do barbecue spice, you can do steak and chop, you can do chicken, or if you, you can put them all together, depending on your flavor. Whatever on your you taste. love. Yeah. Stunning. Now, yeah. how I got introduced to this, Dumi, just to let you in on a little bit of our brotherly, sisterly yeah. secrets. I was on a very, very strict fast, and I wasn't allowing myself. And you remember? I remember. I think remember. everyone in my life remembers this one. They're like, I remember. When you were eating meat, everyone remembers when Penny doesn't eat meat. But so I needed something satisfying, something that will just cancel that craving of the meat. Mm. Yeah. And this is what I got to enjoy, but in a bao ban kind mm. of combination. Mm. And now it's so interesting to see how you put those flavors together. together. Yeah. Because I was blown away at the fact that free treat number one is a great option for meat free burgers, as well as it just resembles the same flavor, mm. the, the, the texture rather, yeah. when great and cooked. You can also use other kinds of vegetables like zucchini. Indeed. But Correct. this is also something that for me, it truly stood out. Yeah. And you know what? The, the nice thing about it is it, it looks sexy because of the color. Yeah. <laughs> so whatever you're going to stack it up with, yeah. it's going to just complement everything because it's like a blood red. It's it, yeah, it's, it's like a strong African Elikasi woman, you know? <laughs> you can see she's proper. She's, hey. you know, she's... Hey. Describe hey. me, hey. King. Keep talking. Describe <laughs> me, King. <laughs> Keep <laughs> talking. <laughs> you did, you did. Now, do me on your side. You're creating something also that's going to just cut through all of this yes. heaviness and something that's refreshing. And that's what I love about this burger that you're introducing us to, Chef. I mean, you've got the deep flavors of that patty, which is Correct. the beetroot, the feta, those herbs that you got in there. And you've got something right in there that cuts through all of that mm. flavor, just making you want even more. I mean, in here I've got some yogurt that I've just added some tahini to, I've added some lemon juice and I'm adding some herbs now. Mm. I'm adding my dill, I'm adding my mint. So you can imagine how when you bite into the beetroot, it's nice and meaty. Yeah. And then you bite into that, you have the taste of the, the yogurt, it basically just clears your palate Correct. and you keep going for another bite. Turning beet into meat. Now, Chef, when you're on this uh, frying station, yeah. how do you know how to fry beetroot? Well, <laughs> the nice thing about it is it's not about frying the beetroot. Mm. The beetroot is already cooked. Mm. So basically all you're doing is you're warming it up. You, what I like to do is I like to get a nice char on it mm. because it's like that char just takes it to another place. Mm. With your tahini obviously as well. So you've got like a, a burny kind of char. And then, yeah. So you can either do it in the pan or you can do it in the oven. 
like I say, preference is all yours. Yeah. You know? No, this one. <laughs> this is my preference. <laughs> if we're speaking preferences, this is it. And it's so lovely to just experience the burger version mm. of the bao ban mm. I've got Correct. to experience and Correct. I've got to enjoy. Now we're still with Chef Chad for the rest of the show. And if you want to get your hands on this recipe, please head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. Mm -mm. Now, there are regular burgers. And then there's gussy burgers. Mm. And then there's a gut-busting combination of bread, burger patties, rations, and cheese that can satisfy even the hungriest malumes. And <laughs> for those who don't know what malume is. And when we do return, we celebrate our heritage with Dumi's gussy budget burger. Mm.